Hey everybody, it's Wolvat. Ooh, welcome back to Layers of Fear. All right, um, we've discovered that we're living in the Wizard of Oz and uh, we're back at the Crooked House. And ooh, there's a leather belt. Come here, boy. Don't you hide from me. I know you've been sneaking into the theater again. What did I tell you about going in there while I'm working? Dude, you're taking that way too seriously. Did he burn the theater down? Show yourself, ye one-eyed freak! I'll make ye wish ye had a spare. My hero. Ooh, sounds like a great movie. I'm sorry I missed it. <laughs> I don't remember a lot of pirates fighting cyclopses. That was more of a Sinbad thing. And even then, only because they confuse Sinbad with Greek myth a lot of the time. <laughs> That's lucked. That's, oh, here we are, back down in the cellar. Where we thought we should have gone the first time, but maybe we're wrong. Oh, X marks the spot again. There are X's in places. They maybe mean something. I don't know. Um, apparently, we need a cellar key. It gave us a bedroom key. Was that... What's the poster we just grabbed? Was there a bedroom upstairs we should have gone to? Probably. Yep, there we go. said stay out of the light, but um, there's light kind of everywhere. Yes, that is a badly framed photograph. There's a slide. Cool. Look at this photograph. Every time I do it makes me laugh. Why'd they cut off grandma's head? And why is it next to the bed? All right, um. Another slideshow? Oh, look, it's the same photograph. Oh, it's grandpa's creepy mouth. Except I'm tiny. Oh, here we go. I'm like, I can't get up there. Yeah, yeah, that's creepy, all right. What do you want me to do about it? <laughs> oh, put it on the creepy uh, statue. Little scum. You were always bad luck. A blight upon this family. I give everything. And what do I get in return? A little gratitude. A little heart. Is that too much to ask? A lucky break. An ace up my sleeve, that's all I need. Okay. Well, you're going to lose. He's got like three aces, so... Good luck to you, Grandpa. A lucky break. An ace up my sleeve, that's all I need. So we got to find an ace and stick it up Grandpa's sleeve, is that what we're saying here? I didn't... A lucky break. An ace up my sleeve, that's all I need. Good for you, I can't get out. I got trapped in the bed. A lucky break. A nice up my sleeve. That's all I need. Ooh, who's stuck in the ceiling? A lucky break. A nice up my sleeve. That's all I need. Really? Are you going to keep yelling? A lucky break, an ace up my sleeve, that's all I need. I guess you are going to keep yelling. Alright, so he needs an ace. Do we have one somewhere? Delilah, the blah blah top woman. She likes boys a lot and girls too. She's very friendly, maybe a bit too much. Looking for an ace, maybe, laying around 
somewhere to bring back to the future or the past or the whatever to give to grandpa because he's freaking out like a crazy person. Oh, we, we are not leaving until this is done. Okay. Um, well, I don't see anything here. A lucky break! An ace up my sleeve! That's all I need! A lucky break! An ace up my sleeve! That's all I need! Okay, I got you, homie. A lucky break! An ace up my sleeve! That's all I need! Um, I'm looking for anything that might help you, dude. A lucky break! An ace up my sleeve! That's all I need! What in the world? What am I missing here? Um. What are you doing? There we go. Nope, still nothing there, just underwear. There we go. There's nothing I could do about that in the other world. I told you to hide it. I told you to keep it safe. Okay. How could you let him take it? It's all we have left of her. I don't know what you're talking about. You have about. to find it. You have to take it back. Find it. Bring it back. All right. I got you. You're going to keep screaming at me. Find it. Bring it back. Find it. Bring it back. Find it. Bring it back. Ace up my sleeve. Okay, let's give him his ace. So we'll quit whining. A lucky break. An ace up my sleeve. That's all. A blackened heart. Uprooted by tragedy. Skewered by pain. It's a spade. That's all you've ever given me. It's a shovel. That's all you were ever good for. You have problems. Alright, so... Now we can take the necklace. I don't know if, what was keeping us from taking that in the first place, but whatever. Now we'll take that back to the other world and give it back. Alright. Find it! Bring it back! Found it, brought it back. You're welcome. Keep her close to your heart. Don't let her be forgotten. She gave everything for you. Prove that it was worth it. That you weren't a mistake. Are we talking to the little boy still? Like, who's... Who is this conversation directed towards? There's a block on his head. He's a blockhead. Uh, uh, uh. Um, okay, we'll take that back. Oh. Weak, useless, no good to anyone. It's like I was never there. It would have been better if I was never there. Yep, they're talking to that little boy. This poor little kid. Is this why they ran away on a ship? Shh. Be quiet. Just watch. No, be quiet. Just watch. It's just on a loop. Let's go. Father right. will be leaving the projection room soon. Alright, to the basement this time. We've tried to get there a couple times, and it hasn't worked out for us. But this time for sure, right? Yeah. 
Too bad I just can't run. Do a little... A little kid scoot. Just... Burrow our way through these tunnels. Alright, downstairs we go. I don't even need to look around. I know where we're headed. I know what the deal is. When the world becomes too cruel, we look for a place to hide. The dark can be many things. But mostly creepy. It can be refuge. Was it screaming? Well, we took his head. I guess we're gonna open up and see what's in here. It's a head. It is whatever you make it. Alright. Whoa! Another head? The dark can be a silent place. Silence can be empty. Now, we were collecting the parts of the, the Wizard of Oz story before. I don't know what the dummy heads are about. It is whatever you make it. We're going back to the same place or a different, a different place? Different place. Even more gruesome cave drippy stuff. The dark can be a lonely place. Okay. The dark can be an attempted jump scare place. Can be a sentence. Well, that. Give me that head. Give me that head. Well, hello there. Yeah, take me back to the chest. I gotta drop my head in. Three heads. Is that enough for you? You, <laughs> you bloodthirsty things. Whatever you make it. Sometimes it's better to hide, to let the dark in. Another head? I'm missing the symbolism here, but oh, father's we'll coming. Keep going. Quick, get in! No, please. I said, get in. Oh, she took my head off. Threw me in the trunk. Was it important to spin them around before you did that? I don't, I don't, I don't see the need personally, but, uh, head, 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 head. We're playing head games. We're experiencing head trauma. <laughs> already started oh it's a multi-headed hydra come on he'll get mad if we're not back before him the child room where's the child room I wonder I would have thought it was upstairs but uh, I think we covered all that but I guess we'll find out here what's this <laughs> What is that thing? It's oogie Boogie. I thought I knew, but now I'm not sure. Oh, Jimmy. It has to take shape in your head first. Otherwise, it'll just stay formless. Okay. Child's room, here we come. It's not that. See, this is what I would assume. Yep. See? Second floor, you put the kids on the top floor. Because they're noisy. This is why you come in. Okay. Uh, we got a duck. Okay. Pick it up. 
What is it? Ooh, a pistol. It seems the tables have turned, Quartermaster. What the Curse what? you and your mutinous puppets. I will not make this easy for you. If I am to meet my doom today, it will be by your hands. Okay. By your action. That's right. Don't hesitate. You know I wouldn't. Yes. Show me you're strong. Like me. Shoot me in the butt. Uh oh. Somebody took their play acting too far. Lily, are you alright? Lily, Lily! <gasps> Lily, I thought you were gone. That's because I was. Well, she is. What? Who I was a moment ago is no more. Now, I can become someone else. Okay. Is this your whole kill yourself to bring out the character kind of thing? Is that what we're dealing with here? We've got this child who's just a crazy method actor. Um, nope. And back here again. God, it's Groundhog Day. This is the best part. The whirlpool? Come. We can't stay any longer. Office. Yes. Okay. Let's Bill Murray our way back in. Fall down. Boom. Freeze frame and action. <laughs> what is this? Pirate hat. Henceforth, I shall be Captain Baines, the Black Wanderer. But Captain Baines isn't a girl. Steady your tongue, Quartermaster. I can be whoever I choose to be. If your little mind says otherwise, then to the depths with it. All right, to the depths with it then. I don't know why this kind of grosses me out a lot. There's something about it that's really like sending shivers down my spine. But after seeing it like a dozen times, I'm really noticing how much it's like uh, grating on my nerve. <laughs> All right, down to the office. That should be back here. This is locked, I believe. This is the, that's the spare room. It is locked. I was right. I was wrong in what the office was. Oh, it's got a, a hit. Okay, it's not that either. That's the basement. That's a closet. For the last time, I'm not replacing the bloody projector. It's your job to keep it up and running. Did I just die? Okay, apparently you're not always invincible while you're reading. That's um, a lesson learned. Okay. All right, well, let's try that again. Uh, quit your whining and do your goddamn job while you still have it. Okay, yeah, you know that things do break beyond repair. Um, if it's if it's fixable, yes, he should fix it. But if it's not, then uh, you know there comes a there comes a point in time, really. Okay, I have the office key, but it doesn't seem to be any of these places. Is there an office in the basement? No, that's locked up. Did I miss something upstairs? It's possible. I don't think I did, but it's possible. Nope, nope, nope. Oh, it's right behind where we came in. Okay. How silly of me not to immediately uh, look behind me. 
Midas the helmsman, he loves gold above all else. He can smell it half a world away, so he always steers the ship towards treasure. Why? If he's Midas, he can just make treasure. That's the point of Midas. It's part of a rocket ship. A broken button. Or a button to a broken thing, I should say. That might. Oh, I see something there. Oh, we're putting a rocket ship together, and then we're going to launch it, right? That's how this works. Nose cone. And another slide. Okay. We're finding things of value here. We're missing one thing of value, though. Yep, plug it in. That's going to launch it, I'm pretty sure. So the question is, where's the part I missed? Right there. Can't do it without a porthole. All right. To space with you. Oh, can we get in? Sure, why not? Let's take this to space. We've been My in a brother. ship, a movie theater. He was always there. Following in my footsteps. Silent. Smiling sadly. Oh, we don't want to get like hit by the asteroids. Ah, I see. Always there. But never really present. Sometimes... When darkness fell across town, we'd sneak out of the house. To the right. <laughs> I forgot my directions. We'd look up into the night sky, watching the stars, but never really seeing them. What he really saw was a face. A thousand souls on fire. His eyes would light up. The stars were already there. See the watcher. At that moment. I knew he had it in him. Yeah, there was no way to out of that. That was a thousand hearts bleed. Predetermined. A thousand heads turn. A thousand eyes weep. My brother, the silent dreamer. Dreaming that a day would come when we could leave it all behind. The journey of a lifetime. A light on the horizon. A supernova. A flame to call his own. Yes, he had it in him to make a thousand souls burn. Make them feel alive. Make them live forever. A thousand lives. But never mind. Never mind. Oh. There we were, dreaming our souls away into the night sky. There's a face on the when sun, like almost reach out and the moon, it. trip to the moon. A cruel shade. Oh, a cyclops moon. Sun. Our dream was gone. Oh no, there's a lot Something of eyes on that moon. Something vicious. Something. And back again. Oh no. What will the Black Wanderer do now? I don't know. In the story? Don't worry. One day we'll get to see how it ends. One day we'll get out of this loop. But that day is not today. Whisper, whisper, whisper. If you're going to tell secrets, tell it to the whole class. Alright, to the bathrooms.
What bandits? Can't turn that water on. Oh, we had to walk right into it. Walking close to it was not enough. If you want to make it to the end, just remember, the monster can be scary, but it's sad too. Because at the end of the day, it's just as lost as we are. Yeah, but we're not trying to kill it. That's why it's not as scary. Alright, there is... Scribbles on the wall. What the frick? I'm in the room now. Okay. It wants to grow, but the scribbles won't let it. So let's turn off the fan. Alright. Now turn the fan back on. No, let's leave it off. Is that all? Peek into the next room. There's more stuff going on here. Are we in this room now? Of course we are. Turn off the fan. Grow, little weeds, grow. Turn off the water. Wet bandits! What else? Do you want the water? Was it just too much water? Yeah, you want a little water. Okay. Okay. It grows a little bit more. And they're octopus tentacles, not plants. That's cool. That's cool. Peek into the next one. Oh, uh, now it's the moon. We don't want it to be the moon. We want the sun. Grow, little plant. No, there's something bad happening. Okay, we want the sun, I believe, I think. We don't want the wind. We want some water. We want a lot of water. No, we want some water. So we've got the sun and some water. And it's growing even more. Grow your own kraken in three easy steps. Did we just die? Did we just die some way somehow or are we back in a different spot? No, we just got spit out of the bathroom. Okay. What the frick? <laughs> all right, we're in the, the topsy-turvy world. A little spark is all it takes. Come on, Tony Todd. You can give me more Father, info than no, that. No, please. We got part of a hedge maze here. Stay out of it, Lily. Why? Why can't you just just leave us alone? You filled the boy's head with nonsense. As if it wasn't. As if he wasn't what, father? Oh, an eye... Wait, is that the eyeball? Yeah, that's you're, an eyeball. You're the one who's useless. You cruel, one-eyed freak. What did you call Get me? Get away from him. You... You monster. Uh-oh. 
That's why they fought a Cyclops. That's a cool Cyclops. Giant undead Cyclops. That's pretty, that's pretty, that's pretty neat. Okay. Oh, I can't think of... Oh, wait. Am I going to get shot with a Cyclops laser? No, I think we're good. Okay, I can't think of a better place to stop than right there, looking down the maw of that thing. It's the scariest thing we've seen all game. I'm excited for it. And I'm so excited that we'll take it on next time. Guys, thank you for watching. Uh, come back next time, and we'll uh, go visit this beautiful guy right here. Look at that sparkle in his eye. He can't wait to see us. All right. Take care.